<laughs> well, 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 happy 8-6 day to everyone out there who owns an FRS, a BRZ, or an 8-6. All of you will know my pain. Sometimes, like with any great enthusiast driver's car, you might encounter a few issues. And the issue I decided to make a video about today on 8-6, August 6, the 8-6 day, happens to pertain to the oil filter and the effect of replacing your old one during the last oil change might have if you happen to use that cheap or free one that that comes with the oil change package at your local auto parts store. Well, big surprise, that kind of oil filter isn't made for this engine. Every engine is different, and especially the 8.6 platform car comes equipped with a flat four boxer engine that uses a specific size and type of oil filter that is mounted high above the engine. And if you do what I did and use the wrong type of oil filter simply because it came for free, you're gonna have leaks. And those leaks, if you take a hard left or right turn, are gonna spill onto the engine and cause white smoke to be spewed out of your car and yeah it's not gonna be a pretty sight so in today's video we're gonna show you how you can replace an oil filter quick and clean without draining out all your oil and redoing that whole oil change process and uh side note I noticed this kind of engine drinks a lot of antifreeze and coolant I hear that you just need to top off the reservoir every once in a while um so yeah we'll fix that problem as well but for now let's get that old oil filter off shall we yeah there was a small leak that formed underneath the gasket of where the oil filter touches that circular catch area. And in order to keep these special engines running with a long life, you're going to want to stick with the OEM parts. We're going to remove this Mobile One. No hate against Mobile One. I think they're a great company. This is just not the oil filter for me. So let's throw on a fresh pair of gloves, grab a plastic bag, and see if we can remove that oil filter with an oil filter wrench and a little bit of gusto. Oh yeah, that baby was on there tight. And over tightening might have led to the leak actually happening, but you know, using the wrong kind of oil filter definitely had a big factor in it. And before you do any repairs involving the engine and the engine oil, make sure your car is cool. Don't want to do this after a long drive and get hot oil all over the place and damage your engine and just cause more smoke and more crap you have to fix. And also before removing that old oil filter, make sure you have some nice clean rags around the edges so in case there is extra oil that spills out, you have that extra layer of security so that prevents any further mess. Use a plastic bag to remove the oil filter, lifting it straight straight up nice and slow so that any of that extra oil just comes along with it. Now here I want to take a closer look at the inside rim of this Mobile One oil filter. This is a general use application oil filter that can be used for pretty much any car but with this flat four boxer engine this gasket just does not match up with the rim of where it's supposed to sit in the car. So let's throw that old bad boy away. I'm sorry you had your time. Before we crack open that brand new OEM filter let's clean that seating area get rid of all that extra extra debris that was caused by using that wrench that kind of just shaved and warped that old filter but make sure this area is nice and clean so the mating surface is not obstructed by anything any sort of small debris will cause more leaks once that mating surface area is clear and good to go you are ready to crack open that brand new OEM Subaru oil filter now this is the bad boy that deserves its time in the spotlight here it's the original part number that matches up perfectly with this engine it's Subaru part number 152 208AA130. And I'm pretty sure last time I checked, these are available on Amazon for like seven bucks. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place to completely forego this whole damn fix. My God. Now, just taking a closer look here at the gasket, you can see the gasket is closer to the middle and it's not on the outer edge like the old general use oil filter. You can see the gasket is around the outer edge. I mean, the width and diameter of these are pretty similar. The mobile one might be a little more narrow, but all in all, they're pretty similar. Even though you can obviously tell the gasket on the Subaru one is right where it's supposed to be. You know, it's a whole like centimeter closer to the middle of the diameter. Whereas on the Mobile One filter, the gasket's right around the outside edge, which would work with most cars, sure. But with this flat four boxer engine, they have a specialized oil filter that you're going to have to use every time you do an oil change so that it correctly matches up with the mating surface. I mean, yeah, with any other car, this Mobile One filter would do the job just fine. But we need a gasket that's not around the outside edge. Yeah. Yeah, as simple as that. That will prevent any further leaks from sneaking up underneath that surface. I mean, here, take a closer look at the mating surface here and you'll see that it's a little closer towards the middle, which lines up perfectly with the OEM filter. I mean, they're both great. Mobile One makes some great oil filters as well, but it's just not gonna work out. I'm sorry, it's not me. 
it's you. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't look at these in the first place. A simple amendment to my oil change video. If you watch this video afterwards, which I hope you do, make sure you get the proper oil filter the first time, and then you won't have to do this and waste your money and throw the old one away. So I've got an extra little bit of oil for my last oil change that I'm going to use to top off the engine once we've got this all sorted out. Before you put that new oil filter on, make sure to add a little bit of oil to that gasket so that it gets a proper fit and gets on there nice and snug and it seals it up tight just once or twice around the rim maybe three times will do just fine and spread that oil nice and even once you're ready clear the area and make sure that you get that on there hand tight okay screw it right onto the mating surface screw and uh, your hands might be a little oily at this point feel free to take off the gloves if you need to and get in there and hand tighten that thing as tight as it'll go not too tight but then after that use a wrench to just give it an extra fourth of a turn maybe a, even an eighth of a turn just so that it's nice and snug you know not over tightening because if you over tighten it you're going to dent the oil filter and then you're gonna have to maybe replace another one because if you dent it the whole thing is gonna be out of balance and out of whack and you might have another leak so let's take a closer look here at that seal right up next to the edge of the oil filter there's a lot less room because where the gasket meets the mating surface there's a little bit of leeway there and it covers all that extra space nice and even so I don't even know why I didn't buy this OEM filter in the first place and save me the time and effort. Good God. I'm going to keep beating myself up about that, but hey, got to move on. Then after that's all said, spend a few minutes just checking the oil level on the dipstick and making sure that you've got optimum oil levels right in between those two dots, maybe a little higher than the middle, right in between those two indicator dots that you've got on your dipstick and make sure that you've got just enough oil to keep running nice and smooth. It's possible since you removed that old oil filter that it might have stolen a little bit of oil away. So you're going to want to check the levels and top it off if needed. As you can see here, the dipstick on the FRS BRZ86 models has these two indicator dots that kind of tell you right where you want to be. That is the healthy oil level of this engine right in between those two dots. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. Replacing that old oil filter with a new one is pretty easy and it's relatively pain free and not messy if you know what you're doing, especially with the FRS engine here. It's not that hard. And it's a general rule of thumb that a lot of us car people struggle with if we're trying to save a quick buck. You really have to splurge and spend the extra like 10 or $15 sometimes to get the OEM parts to make this engine last longer pretty much applies with any car I can't guarantee that this fix is gonna be clean on every car as oil filters can be below the engines at times which will spread a lot more oil when you remove it so be careful and before I go you're probably wondering what this footage is you're seeing here yeah well happy 86 day everybody I got some new wheels and tires <laughs> yeah and they're pretty freaking amazing I would love to share them with you but I need to save that for another day thank you so much for watching and I I hope this video helped someone out there. I know it's kind of obscure and niche, but yeah, whatever. See you in the next one.